Okay, so for this one, first th thing we're going to do is we're going to um, factor out the denominator. So we get x plus 5 and x minus 2. That's our new denominator. And I want you to notice that 2 minus x is close, but not the same as x minus 2. So how do I turn this into an x minus 2? Notice they're the same elements, but the signs are different. So if you recall from a few chapters ago, I can simply multiply by negative 1 over negative 1. So on the top, I'm going to get negative 7. And on the bottom, I'm going to get negative 2 plus x, because negative 1 times negative x is positive x. But if you remember, addition, which is what's in the middle, is commutative. So I can reverse the order of those two elements. So I get negative 7 over x minus 2. And then this, I'm just going to bring it down. So I have 10 minus 4x all over x plus 5 and x minus 2. So notice the only thing that's missing on the left-hand side is the x plus 5. So I need to get the common denominator, so I'm going to multiply by x plus 5 on the top here. And this one has both elements, so it's not missing anything. So I'm going to distribute that negative 7. So negative 7x minus 35 equals 10 minus 4x. Because remember, if I multiply by the whole denominator, x minus 2, all of that, these two guys go away, and then I'm just left with that. Okay, so now I'm just going to move all the x's to one side and all the um, numbers to the other. So I'm going to add 4x, so I'm going to get negative 3x, and over here I'm going to get 45, and I can divide by 3, so I get x equals negative 15, and that is the final answer.